Folks, we're not going to make you wait, and we're not going to make you hold on. You are listening to the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John on Santa Cruz Hometown Station, AM 1220 KHTS. All right. Hey, you know, we, 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 we actually neglected somebody else today, too. We neglected our, another in-studio guest. Mr. Ben Oakley, the restaurant reviewer for the Gazette and Free Classified, has actually been in studio, sitting in the corner eating. You know, and I've never, I never knew what he looked like. Now until you today. do, but you know, he's all, got, all these months of writing our restaurant reviews in the Gazette, and he was always this. We talked to him on the radio. He's like this faceless guy, and now here he is. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not too bad looking. Oh, you know, I dug for, 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 hey, Mr. for Oakley. a short, for a short. Hispanic gentleman <laughs> who's blonde. We're throwing people off the trail, aren't we? No, you're, you're Hi, probably... Doug and John. It's great <laughs> yeah. to see you. And if I may make comment, oh, what Uh-oh. an outstanding show today. What an outstanding oh, thank show. You. Thank but you. I have a question for you, Doug. Yes, sir. The uh, issue of the Gazette you were speaking about that can't be found. Right. Um, is that the uh, April 4th edition? Correct. Well, that doesn't make me very pleased because Uh-oh. then people aren't reading my review either. So I, I'm crying <laughs> foul. And we well, didn't talk about chicken either. <laughs> well, maybe all these people, maybe all these people <laughs> took the paper to read your review, but we won't get into that. Did could you, be. Did you catch what he said about? I did. Foul? Right, I, I just went right over it because we're not <laughs> doing. It. Kind of flew the coop, did it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. it's it's not a it's not a. a <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm not getting roped into that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hang. You'll be hanging on every word. Uh, right? I'm so not getting roped into that one. Um, <laughs> uh, Mr. So Oakley. <laughs> Did yeah. you did you re- review a restaurant this week? I did. I re- reviewed uh, Rustic Burger over in um, oh, Valencia. I can hear my stomach Outstanding. Grumble. They're having their grand opening, and it's unusual. Now, it's Rustic Burger, you said? Rustic Burger, yes. Where's Where are they located? located? Yeah, yeah. Rustic Burger is located in um, Valencia in the Bridgeport, Bridgeport Center. Ooh. Do they deliver, like, now? <laughs> I don't think nicely. that they deliver, but they I'm do really have hungry. to go. Now, would yeah. that have been where the old um, Italian restaurant was? Do you know Frankie's? Was it in that location? I believe it is, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Oh. Thank you very much for bringing that up. Yes, it was. Anyway, we went in at about 11.30. Isabella and I decided to ride our bikes over from Canyon Country. And uh, That's quite a ride. Great little restaurant, uh, nice and clean inside, very airy, uh, place where you can just kind of relax and have fun. Um, and what was even more fun about it is the way you get to order your food. They have a menu on the wall, Uh but you order step by step, and it tells you or asks you, you can pick a protein, which can be chicken or beef or, excuse me, fish or salmon or shrimp. Then you can can choose which bun you want to have your burger on, Um, and then you can decide what you want. You want to have the rustic burger, you want to have the blue cheese burger, the teriyaki, the calorie, the mushroom. There's several of them, and I'll tell you, it was really, really delicious. And on the sides, the sides were outstanding. I picked tater tots because I love tater tots. Tater tots. Ooh. Now, That's are they big burgers or are they just? Yeah, they're they're a handful. Okay. The big sloppy ones. No, it wasn't That's sloppy at all. But it was a big handful, and it was delicious, and it was more than filling. And I got to tell you, the food was tasty, and the prices I thought were very, very appropriate. Now, is it a chain or locally owned? Do you know? Locally owned. Locally owned by the really? name by the name. Of a man by the name of um, Alex, and Alex actually um, waited on us. Wow! So we felt very, very um, important that afternoon. He didn't That's happen to mention his um, permitting process story, did he? Oh, oh we don't want to get it. Never mind. Geez. Never mind. Here we are. We've turned the page. We went from <laughs> grumpy politics to happy burgers. I and well, I do have uh, an announcement to make. Uh oh. Um, mom and Dad have told me that. I'm going to have either a brother or a sister. Oh, well, congratulations. So my, my cousins, Gavin and Isabella, are pretty excited about it, too. Ah, but they won't say what it's going to be. So make sure you read next week's copy or next week's uh, issue of the Gazette. If, if you, can, you can find if it. If you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Hey, you never know. <laughs> and you'll know. And if you have that edition, <laughs> it yeah. might be a collector's item. <laughs> you can sell it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right. So, what's next for Mr. Oakley besides the new sibling? Are we? Uh, you know, with the uh, the warm weather we had last week, mm-hmm. we went to Ice Cream Dreams. I heard oh, about that place. Outstanding, and that's all I'll tell you right now. Oh, um, tease just, just tease them, but let's tell them where it is. It's on Copper Hill. It's on Copper Hill and Haskell. At Haskell, next Canyon, to Walgreens. Right next to Walgreens. Okay, so it's pretty close to Rustic Burger. Just saying it. Not, not, not too far. Not too far. I could I could get a burger and then we can go get some ice cream. Yes. Just okay. to tease the listeners, I've heard that that ice cream, well, I won't say it, but. Yeah. It's, uh, I'll just tell you, just, the tease is it's outstanding. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. So, so uh, big picture, 
have, have you seen in the last couple months, since you've been doing the reviews at least, an increase in decent restaurants in Santa Clarita? Because that was one of the things that I always got, got stuck with. It was never really, oh, places you really want to go. Here's what I find. What I find is the people that own the restaurants, and you'll notice that we go to and I review, almost every review I've done has been an independent restaurant. Right. Those people are out there working hard to make a living, but they're also working hard to give us good quality food, uh, good, well-tasting food, and great service for the people that work for them. Um, so, and I would say this, we're seeing more restaurants, and as a result of that, I think it is indicative of a better economy. Awesome. Okay. Good you stuff. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you are what you eat. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right. All right. Ben, we are so privileged to have you in studio this week. Thanks Thank so you. much for coming down. On. And we have your, your, your disguise so you can leave the studio and people won't know who you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. They would much. never guess anyway. All right. You're listening to Gazette Radio Hour on Santa Cruz's hometown station, AM 1220. KHTS. We'll be right back with sports, Doug. Sports. Okay.